How much is that duck in this window? The one with the waggly tail. How much is that duck in the window? And is the old window for sale? I like a little window with double glazing. It keeps in the heat in the night. And if I had the dog with the window, then everything would be alright. My brother won't talk to my family. He says it's because what I done. And I just can't even remember. Sure, I didn't even know I had the son. Until a woman showed up on my doorstep. I remember her name was Michelle. I said, sure, he looks nothing like me. She said he's got your eyes as well. I said I don't know what you mean by that. I'm using my eyes all the time. Sure, if this a little lad had in my eyes, sure I would be completely fucking blind. How much is that dog in the window? The one with the waggly tail. I'll give you fifty quid for the window. I'm not interested in the doggy sale. Hey, Salmon Skins. Uh, I don't know what's going on with Brendan Blowhart, but that was supposed to be, uh, you heard a little pop there, supposed to be a rendition of how much is that doggy in the window. But he seems to have gone a little bit off the rails. Um, I mean, yeah, I'm like, hey, I like double glazing as much as the next man, if not more so. Uh, I enjoy double aspect in any room. Uh, I don't care where it is. And I, but I think he's getting a little bit obsessed. I know he's uh, he's having maybe troubles at home. Maybe I should be saying this because uh, he apparently is sharing a flat in Dublin somewhere with uh, one of his mates, Tommy T, and uh, not Tommy Tiernan now. I don't know what the T stands for. But he's in with Tommy, who's actually from the country. Um, he drives the the local Kearns's bus. He likes to stop in for slices of ham and Lucasade to uh, aid his journey, to give him the strength to drive a big, big bus up and down to Dublin. And he got caught up here. He he got uh, just at the start of the lockdown two kilometer thing, and he he said, "Can I do them?" Uh, two kilometers at a time and they said that's not how it works they, they don't accumulate it's it's a radius so he's just been driving the bus around a two kilometer circle around dublin during the day because he doesn't know he, he doesn't know anything else and uh so my dad asked me could i skype him because he doesn't have any relations up here in dublin and he doesn't have any relations in offaly or friends so you know i thought why not? You know, do something nice for someone, uh, completely altruistic. Is that how you say it? Um, I don't know. I haven't looked it up. But the meaning of that meaning something that's horrible for you would be a terrible thing for you to endure, but would make the other pe- person or people uh, feel okay, if only for a short time. So I'm going to be Zooming him during the week. I might try and record that Zoom with Tommy, the bus driver, and see uh, what happens. But he's a character, <laughs> I'll tell you that much. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so Brendan Blohard is living with Tommy. 
uh, by a strange coincidence. And yeah, he said he's got an obsessed with cleaning the windows uh, all day long. And he's he's been trying to sing songs uh, around the flats, but people are only interested in bingo and working out on the street to pump up the jam. And he just can't compete with that because he's, you know, he's an old fashioned guy. How old? Anywhere between 50 and 78, somewhere in that region. But the reason for why, guys, I'll tell you for why. Who do I sound like? Uh, uh, Alan, Alan Alda. Guys, I'll, I'll, here's my Alan Alda impression. You always know an impression is bad if someone says the name of the person they're doing the impression of. My friend Trevor Brown is a master of impressions, but all of his impressions are famous people saying their own names. Um, hey, Alan Alda here from MASH. You know, it's it's terrific. It's just terrific. The kids don't remember MASH. Uh, I don't. That sounds nothing like Alan Alda. I apologize to Mr. Alda and uh, his his entire family. Now, myself, I've mentioned this in the podcast before, but we're really getting the sort of the dog horn is uh, is quite big and hard and veiny, and uh, we're just about ready to pop this little dog horn. So, uh, I, hopefully, the you know this quarantine lockdown. I think it would be easier if 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 I had a little dog, and we were going to go. We we're going to go for a dachshund, but see, we're absolute fucking idiots, and quite frankly, and I hope Cara doesn't mind me saying this. She's gone off for a uh, socially distant walk with her coven, and uh, they're all bringing their broomsticks so they can kind of point the broomsticks so that you know because broomsticks are roughly six feet so uh, that's what they do they're walking around broomsticks kind of equidistant from each other and also they come in handy as weapons because you know you can't you can't be too careful so you know we're, we're very very fucking st- idiots we're a bunch of stupid fucks because what we want is we want a dog that doesn't bark um and doesn't shed hair Basically, we want like a a rock with a dog drawn on it. That seems to be kind of what we're going towards. Now, the the, the dog has to be hypoallergenic, <laughs> which doesn't mean that you have to cream it up with Aveeno or some other such brand uh, every day. I mean, that'd be fun. But, um, you know, for who? The dog? Probably not. Not as much fun for the dog. Or maybe more fun for the dog. So... We, we we have a we have a list of possible dogs. I'm gonna basically do a little interview here with uh, the first dog, a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. So you probably know these dogs. They're they're, they're small dogs. Like we're we're looking for a dog that has um, adaptability, can adapt to living uh, in an apartment in a city. So and I've mentioned before, the only one I, of these dogs that I ever knew was the dumbest dog that I've ever known. So on the line is uh, uh, yes, hello. This is Gordon here. Yeah. Gordon, yes, you can call me Gordon. So you are a King Charles Cavalier. Your voice is uh, a lot kind of deeper than I thought it would be. I don't know why. Oh well, that's just because you can't always judge a book by its cover, and you shouldn't judge a dog by another. You know that old saying. Is it an old saying? No, I just made it up. Okay, so... Just um, Yes, I'm King John. We've got an apartment in Dublin. Dublin? Oh, you're a mick. Well, um, uh, no, I'm not a mick. I'm oh, a, really? I'm an Irishman. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. You're a paddy. Well, no, I wouldn't use that uh, phrase. Oh, up. I'm... Oh, so you'll be throwing shillelaghs for me to go run and fetch. Am I, am I uh, correct? Uh, uh, no, I, no, I don't think that's that funny. It, no. It's certainly not that funny. Tell me, Paddy Man. No, my name is Ed. Yes, uh, so Paddy Ed. No, just Ed. 
Listen, uh, this isn't getting off to a very good start. Can you just uh, tell me about your, your history? Well, of course. I come from royalty. So you're a royal? You're, what, what does that mean? Well, let's just say if, if my ancestors were in a situation where all of the humans had died, they probably would have ascended to the throne of the King of England. Well, that kind of seems unlikely. Is there, um, I mean... I don't think dogs would be next in line for the throne. What do you think? Some kind of monkey? Some kind of monkey man? Uh, yeah, I mean, that seems more likely. I mean, we're not really, we're not related to dogs. We've bred you for our pleasure. Well, uh, pleasure? What do you mean? You're not going to have your way with me. I don't even like peanut butter. No, 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 I'm not, look, I'm not talking about that. Listen, look, I'm... That, no, as a companion dog. How oh, dare you suggest I lick peanut butter from your never return? No, I didn't suggest that at all. You, no, listen. What, what are you trying to say? What are you trying to say? Yes, okay, look, I'm sorry. Please, let's just, let's just start over. Um, can I ask you about your diseases? Well, that's a very personal question, don't you think? Well, I mean, I need to know how, um how healthy you are like what, what's your average lifespan because it says on the internet nine to twelve years uh, it says a lot of things on the internet it says jeremy epstein murdered his cellmate no i i think you've got the kind of wrong end of i don't even know what kind of stick that is so listen come here um Health problems. Yeah. I, I, like, I don't mean to get uh, personal. You can't get more personal than health. Well, I mean, I could ask you, are you, um, are you fixed? What do you mean? Have, do you have, are you fixed? What do you mean? For money? No, no, um, are you a breeding dog? There you go again. Am I a pleasure dog? A pleasure hound? No, you're not a hound. You're a spaniel. Yes, well, I know that much. Okay. So, uh, apparently, um, according to the Kennel Club of the United Kingdom, 42.8% of cavalier deaths are cardiac related. So, um, how's your heart? Is, is what, I'm, what I'm asking. Well, I don't know. I'm a dog. Okay, that's fair enough. Listen, thanks a lot for your time and effort. Do you have anything planned? Uh, how are you getting on during the lockdown? Well, I usually just line my basket. I get ruffled. I get rubbed on the tummy. And uh, usually I lick myself for a, for a good three to four hours. Every day, that's your... Every single day. Okay, well, uh, thanks very much for taking my call. And I'll um, uh, talk to you uh, soon. What do you mean? You'll talk to me soon. Uh, it's just an expression. Good luck. Yeah, I'm not too sure about that. Uh, that that dog. He seemed a little bit kind of uppity. I mean, he seemed dumb, but also very kind of uppity. Very sure of himself, full of himself. And you know, the more you look into King Charles Cavaliers. They're very, like, they suffer from EF, which is episodic falling. So, uh, which is exercise induced. So they have like, basically they have more muscle tone and the muscles just can't relax. So they're constantly, they have constantly stressed muscle syndrome. And they eventually just fall over because they can't, uh, they can't stand up. So, and then like they, they pass out. Um, and it's like kind of uh, having uh, an epileptic fit if you were a dog. And they also have an ab uh, abnormally low number of platelets in the blood. So uh, that's not good. I mean, there's one thing I want in a dog. It's uh, as much platelets, as many platelets as, as you can get. I want my dogs stuffed to the gills with platelets. I know dogs don't have uh, gills. Uh, they've got eye problems. They've got ear problems. It's just, uh, it's it's a no. I think it's a, it's a hard pass on King Charles. I mean, they're they're cute enough. They got the fluffy ears and everything, but yeah. Look, back to the drawing board. Back to the doggy drawing board. Uh, we're going to take a short little break, and uh, we'll be back after these short messages. Bye 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 bye, and we're back. 
So guys, it's been uh, a month since myself and my good lady wife, Cara, uh, well, my good lady fiancé, which doesn't have the same ring as my good lady wife. Uh, yeah, we got engaged a month ago, and it's going surprisingly well, but I've realized something throughout this whole thing. It's, you know, it's uh, definitely accentuates, heightens, brings the contrast on your relationship all the way up to 100 where sometimes you can't see the different uh, layers of, of uh, thickness and color. Is that how contrast works? So, but I realize we, we, like, we haven't really had rows, but we have micro rows over kind of small things. Like one of the issues is uh, how to raise our plant children. Because we have, you know, quite a lot of plants and, you know, I'm constantly rotating the fern. Not a euphemism. And, uh, you know, it's like... I rotate the fern, and she's like, why are you rotating the fern? And uh, I say, uh, you know, just because it needs, you know, needs light on that side. And she'll get so mad and go, I don't believe you! And I'm like, well, I've worked in a in a DIY store for 10 years, and I watered all the plants, so I think I know a thing or two about plants. And she'll just counter with, oh, I know a lot about plants. And I'm like, well, do you have, like, a horticultural degree? No, I know the... The beneficial properties of certain plants. And I'm like, what does that mean? I should just cackle her little, little, little laugh. <laughs> and say no more about it. But it's just, I mean, like I'm worried that the, our plant child, our little Freddie Fern, is going to have a stunted growth. Uh, you know, he'll, he'll be all bushy on one side and not so bushy on the other side. He'll be the elephant man. Of plants, the elephant plant, um, and then you know, look, a lot of people are baking. I'm baking. I might be doing some videos, some baking videos, um, because everyone's doing it. So why not me? Same with podcasting. But hey, if people are trapped indoors trying to recreate their favorite foods. Um, you know, I like baked goods. I like to bake. If you catch my drift and uh, I'm talking about baking and there's definitely a craze of sourdough makers a lot of people are trying the old sourdough it doesn't sound like a nice combination sourdough I mean you want sour sweets uh, you know that's a good thing sour cream and onion flavored crisps or just sour cream on a burrito I mean that's nice but like sourdough, I'm not too, I don't know about this craze. And it's all about getting the biggest holes possible. You want to basically be able to drive a small car through your bread when you cut it in half and have a look at it. It's a journey. It's a journey towards the perfect bread. And Kara is almost there. She's, she's eight tenths of the way on the sourdough road. And it stinks. It stinks like fucking... It's supposed to stink like vinegar. It's like really strong. Almost like smelling salts. And you smell it and you go, Mmm, can't wait to make bread out of that and eat it. Mmm. I, I like it. I don't like to smell these things. But Kara was like, Smell it! What does it smell like? And I smelled it. I was like, Mmm, it smells like... It smells like frog or something. That's newt! So we have sour dough, but like flavored to be, taste like a newt. So she's a good bit down the the sourdough road. It's a difficult road. Uh, it's a doughy road, and you want to make sure that you know the dough is okay. Because I mean, if there's a disaster with the dough and sourdough is is difficult, um, the couple of ones that she's she's done so far. Uh, have been very good. She's she's getting closer and closer to the peak of Doe Mountain, driving up Sourdough Road. Uh, you turn left at uh, Flower Point, and then you keep going past. And if you go past the post office, you've gone too long. You've gone too far. You've got to turn around and come back until you see uh, a sign for bread. And then you take a right on uh, Sugar Lane, and you go all the way down to Salt add a teaspoon of salt highway and then when you're on the highway 
just keep going and eventually the bread will be there at the end of the day. So Kara's still on her sourdough journey and you know what I, what I like to do to, to to relax. I mean, I like to bake. I like to clean. It's a weird thing. I know I'm very Marie Kondo. Uh, cleaning sparks joy. I rearranged a lot of things today. I rearranged some presses and asked numerous questions. Mainly the questions were, what is this and do you really need it? And when you ask yourself those kind of questions, you end up with answers that you might not actually want. But you got to face up to facts. Sometimes you got stuff. You just don't need it. Get rid of it. Yeah. How's everyone doing tonight? You out here? Jokes. Significant others are your wives, are your boyfriends, are your girlfriends. Good for you. My wife left me. You ain't nothing but the shy talk. Crying all the time. You ain't nothing but the shy talk. Flying around for joy. Well, you ain't never caught the rabbit and get away from my fucking wife. Well, they said you were a class act. That was just a lie. Well, they said you were a class act. But then you fucked me with. Oh, yeah, never fucked my wife. Oh, no, I remember you did fuck my wife. They ain't nothing but the shy talk. Flying all the time. They ain't nothing but the shy talk. Shitting all the time. Well, you want to grab your hands, my shy? Get away from my shy. Oh. Yeah. So, uh, just want to say. Susan, if you're listening, I can't forgive you. Well, the shirt you wore a folk bag. That is very true. Well, the shirt you wore a cop shirt. No, nice it is for you. You ever come round here? I lock the doors and don't steal. I just sit inside. I walk from out. Just talk to me. Through the walls, please. All I'm saying is, you know, we can change, or we can buy you something. I mean, like, no money, but I can get money. We'll go to the credit union. We we'll go to Malarca. You just look at what's in the old days. This Susan, you know, I know he's a personal trainer. He's a young lad. You know, he doesn't start crying when his lot of numbers don't come up because we just know they will. I know they will. Just have to trust me. Susan, please. Oh, Jesus. <laughs>